Hi, I'm Senator Scott Brown, and I'd like to congratulate all of you connected with the grand opening of the Costas Institute. Northeastern University exemplifies how universities can effectively partner with the federal government to address our nation's most pressing issues. So congratulations on this vital grand opening, and I wish you all the very best in the days to come. Thank you. Everybody wants to leave a thumbprint somewhere on the world. George is very lucky as he can leave more than a thumbprint. He's leaving a full handprint, a giant handprint on the, on the school and on society. George is just like anybody else who went to Northeastern University. You bond with the university. It's, it's a special bond. People go to Northeast and have very much a can-do attitude. Uh, I think they're proactive. They want to get things done. I think George is that kind of guy. He's a solid citizen. He's a great American. He loves his country. Every time I've ever been with Dr. Costas, his enthusiasm uh, really just bowls me over. We're truly blessed to have George Costas as an alum. George Costas, who wants to see his, his alma mater deal with important problems that he's concerned about. Every time he comes and visits, he asks to meet with the students, he discusses with them, and uh, he shows his uh, passion and his care for the research that we do and for Northeastern. He was talking nanotechnology before anyone was talking about nanotechnology. And guess what? Everyone's talking about nanotechnology. We are sitting in a laboratory which was uh, built with the first visionary philanthropic gift of Dr. Costas that enabled us to become one of the national leaders in nanomanufacturing. So I was very, very pleased and with, with his vision and his passion about Northeastern and about nanotechnology at Northeastern that actually helped us a great deal and landing uh, one of the biggest you know, uh, centers in the U.S. He's now saying, hey, I want to make Northeastern now the home of Homeland Security. It's really a great day today. And it's a special day for me personally, for the institution, and obviously for, for our nation. This is one of the happiest days of my life. And your presence adds to this pleasure. To be with a person who has had such a successful career giving back and pursuing something that's a personal passion uh, is, is just, words can't express. It was clear right from the beginning that uh, there would be a long-term uh, need satisfied in protecting our country. This isn't just concrete steel, glass, and a roof. It could change the world with the research that's going to happen in here. I think one of the most exciting aspects of this facility is, is that uh, throughout the Costas Institute, uh, we'll be doing a variety of research. And in this high bay testing lab, we'll be looking at infrastructure components and their resilience to uh, extreme events. It gives uh, an opportunity for interdisciplinary collaborations. We've been working hard to make sure that Northeastern is the kind of an institution that not just sustains, but fosters, encourages faculty and students to cross over disciplinary boundaries, to work with one another so that they can address these, these big problems. Where we could start to, to mix uh, computational work, cybersecurity work, uh, sensors and infrastructure. Part of Dr. Costas' vision is that Northeastern be a model for how universities can more completely engage with the nation and the government in terms of driving research and homeland security. So here we're able to now make a statement because of George Costas that we're in the homeland security business. And the impact we can have here from George's investment in this area is just unquantifiable. He's a, an alum who really has you know, changed the fabric of the university. That is a home run. That is a win. That is what a great gift that is. George, you are a visionary, a pioneer, a patriot. You embody all that is Northeastern. Thank you, thank you, and thank you.